All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica. We're continuing on as our lovely boy Chris as we proceed through in part nine, and we have a look at what we've got. Now, I've sorted out my inventory. One of the last things we got last episode was getting this weird looking paperweight, which I'm thinking might come in handy soon. That's why I have it. So I'm going to keep it in my inventory for now, and I'm just deciding to roll with an automatic weapon and a shotgun as my powerful weapon. That's what I'm going to roll with. Otherwise, I'm just going to be holding on to too much stuff. This basically replaces the handgun and the handgun bullets I have left. Uh, I did kind of want to also have the grenade launcher just in case, but again, we'll, we'll see how we'll see how things go. At this stage, this is what I'm going to roll with because we used the uh, use the how beard on this guy. Uh, to open that up, and uh, yeah, I guess what we're going to be doing at the moment is just exploring the rest of the Antarctic facility um, because we need to we need to get to Jill, we need to get to Steve, and by uh, by result we need to get to uh, Alexia, and I assume that there's also going to be a Wesker involved in this as well. So, oh no. Oh no, that that's a really unfortunate ambush. What the fuck is that? What the hell is on my back? Oh my god, look at the zombie. What the fuck? Yo, the fact that the zombie actually like lent up against the... the wall? Instead of just like glitching through it? Was that some weird like moth spawn thing that just attached itself to my back? What the hell? That was a surprise. <laughs> uh, surprise right at the right at the beginning. We love that. We love that. Uh, I am going to heal myself of my wounds real quick. Uh, I got taken down to a caution, so may as well just use one green. And then keep the first aid spray for if anything gets a little more dangerous further out from a from an item box. But yeah, that was uh, that was not nice. <laughs> Having the zombie drop down was a very neat touch, but like uh, yeah, the thing that attached itself onto my back, not not so nice. Now I need to make sure that I've checked everywhere because I I believe I had a look everywhere that I could here oh no I didn't did I because I there was a whole area that I could have checked no I haven't cleared upstairs actually um, I remembered being like nah I don't want to risk going everywhere I want to save first and then wrap it up because I believe that there was like ice or snow that we can that we can walk on that I chose not to uh, also just as a disclaimer if you can hear a fan in the background it's it's really hot here. I need it. <laughs> I am not cool. It is it's hot, and sweaty, and I and I melt. So if there's white noise, that's a fan. I do apologize. It's like there's there's like something that I struggle with in terms of when I'm recording and doing my audio, is either I use my sort of program that blocks out background noise which then affects my voice sometimes when I kind of like laugh or do like a voice um, it actually filters it out which you've probably noticed occasionally um, so either I have my voice go weird and my laugh get filtered out at times or there's a bit of white noise in the background and I just can't win at this point I just can't win now, is there a particular reason why we can go on here? I uh, can't investigate or inspect that. Are these zombies going to get up? Because they haven't. Oh, interesting. Take the valve handle. And the zombies didn't get up? Okay. Oh. Oh, uh, they got up. We were expecting it. Oh, there's coming out of the ice, baby. We should be able to get out of this. I should be able to get out of this. Oh. 
No! What the f What the hell is jumping out of them? What? Holy crap, dude. Just checking that I can't do anything with that before I leave. What the hell? So, there's something that's like... That must be like the moths in like their second form, right? Unless they're from the ice itself. They're, they're tough as well. They take me down to a caution straight away. Oh, you know what? I've got a thought. Do I have to reshape that the valve handle again? Do you reckon I'll have to reshape the valve handle into something else? Now that it's not for that particular valve? While we're here, I've got to check, don't I? I've got to cross that possibility off of the list. So we're just getting, like, attacked, like, left, right, and center. Really. No, it got destroyed. It's broken. It cannot be used. Okay. That's fine. So we just cleared out that zombie for no reason. But... That's a possibility removed from the list of what to do now. So... The zombies are now spitting out some weird insect-like creature, which is either a, uh, a second form or a different form of the moth thing, or it's just a different thing entirely. And I hate it. I hate it. Let's finally go and check out down here. But convenient timing for me to just get another green herb. Because <laughs> at the moment they're just taking me down to a caution. And what I think I might do in this case, because the zombies are doing this to me, is I might just have a backup on me as well. I don't know what the valve handle is going to be used for, but I have a feeling that these are just going to come in handy now. And I should be kind of holding on to them. But then my inventory is getting um, drastically, drastically packed. I don't mind making another stop here if this comes up soon. I just, I had a feeling that the paperweight would be more instant. So let's, let's, let's see. Let's see how good I am at, at seeing my items. It'll probably be completely wrong, but let's have a look in here. It's tightly sealed. Oh, now this raises some questions then. Hang on. Where haven't I gone? So we can't actually go into that area at all. I don't know why. I know that it was like packed in with snow, but like I had a feeling that it was going to be... Oh, there's a hole. Hang on. Oh, there's a second door in that area now. Interesting. Now that makes sense looking at the map. Um, that must be the snow adding in an additional path, and I just glimpsed uh, right over it, and I didn't even notice. In that case, because there's only two rooms, I actually feel like maybe I'll need these. It doesn't look like it's a huge area. It's a couple of rooms. So let's have a look. Hopefully, I don't have too much on me, but we should be we should be okay. Because two of these are key items that are that have got to leave my inventory <laughs> at some point, and I fully expect some weird creature to attach itself to me at the same time. So I was actually in the right spot before. Um, so here. Yeah, okay, so I can drop down. A large man whose hands are tied. Hangs here. Whoa! Hang on a minute. A large man whose hands are tied hangs here. That's, um... That's Nosferatu. Or should I say Alexander Ashford? Because he's got the, the, the bandana and he's a large man. What? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna pull him out. Is there a oh no, is there gonna be a round two? With Chris? That's that's doable. That's doable. I mean we have so much stuff. We have like the grenade launcher as well. 
That's weird. How did he how did he get there? Control panel for the crane. I need the crane key. I'm gonna be pulling him out of the the ice. How did he get how did he get there? He didn't just stay dead on the rooftop? Oh, of course. He's here. Move out of the way. Yo, come on. Come on. <laughs> it just... Oh, no chance to escape. Are we good? Three shots? No. A fourth shot's needed. Okay. Fourth shot is needed. God damn it, Hunter. Well, I'm glad that I kept the shotgun. Yeah, so there's two... This is like what looks like a lift and then another door here. So I can go in the lift straight away. I don't want to, actually. Auto, it was automatic. Okay. B5. Nah, this is a full area. Go, I'm going I'm gonna go back in the other the other room first. I'm glad we can go back. Because I got scared that we were gonna be in a cutscene for a second there. This is my fault. Like, this is what I get. At least I kind of know how to avoid their, their little search pattern. Alright, what are we looking at here? Blood over the other side. Pull up an oil drum. There's also a lift. Okay. Let's go up there. There's a couple of lifts. Okay. Oh, this is about to get... This is about to get interesting. So this isn't just one room. A switch. Push the switch. Is that... Oh, wait a minute. It's an extinguisher! It should be used with a fire extinguisher. Oh my god, this is how I... This is how I fill up my fire extinguisher. I'm going back. I gotta go back. I gotta go back to the item box. I gotta get the fire extinguisher. I can finally fill it back up again. It's an extinguisher. It should be used with a fire extinguisher. Let's do it. Fill me up. I've used the extinguisher, so I now can now use the, the fire extinguisher. I'm assuming it's got a... Like, wasn't there a fire? Somewhere? When I was playing as Claire? I can't remember. No, it, no there was, right? Because it, uh, it was blocking off... It was blocking off a... There was like a fire blocking off a, an item. Oh. I love how convenient this is. Isn't this convenient? It's literally like, oh, here's your thing of extinguishing. Hopefully you had your fire extinguisher ready. Yeah, this is the... This was the fire. That was blocking off an, an item on top of the crate. <laughs> Hell yes. Oh, that's right! <laughs> Magnum! Part of the sorter. The loads are collected here. Um, nice. Cult Python. Awesome. Uh, we know what the Magnums are used for, and they're used for, they're used for bosses only. Um, okay, well that's, that's cool. What was around here? Oh, yes! I remember. Oh, look. This guy's gonna get up because I can't run through him. Oh, it's so convenient. I wish I could shoot you now. Oh, uh, 
Okay, heat sensitive explosive. It's all coming together, baby. It's all coming together. Oh, I didn't want to equip it. I just want to use it. Yes! Oh my god. Amazing. Is he gonna get up? He's so gonna get up. Oh, it's handgun ammo. I mean, yeah. I'll do it. I don't have my handgun on me right now. But I mean, 45 handgun bullets is handy. Okay, he's just gonna stay on the ground. I swear to God, he was gonna get up. That's weird. Okay, um, I think that's all we need from here, so that's great. Is the fire extinguisher now... Oh, it's gone. Yeah, duh. Okay, so the fire extinguisher is now gone. That confirms that that's all the extinguisher was literally for, was like, to, to be able to get that additional weapon and ammo. And then this will be sealed, yeah. Okay, well that clears that one up. I'm getting worried about my inventory space. We got two more slots, let's push through. I've done so much back and forth already. Let's go up the next lift. Ooh, who died up here? Oh, that's so cool. Who died up here? Oh, no! Hang on, hang on, hang on. You can drain the water under following conditions to clean the tank to exchange the water. It's a square hollow, though. You see what I was thinking? When I said that with the valve, we would reshape it again, because I had a feeling because the shape the valve was already square, so I was like, but it was broken. Well, the octave valve isn't going to do anything. It's a square hollow. Some kind of control panel. Hmm. Well... Hasn't been used in quite a long time. The only other option is to go down the... that lift around the corner. I don't feel as though that octa valve is going to fit. That's going to be a waste of my time. Because otherwise I need to like reshape it. It feels like I need to reshape it or get something else. It's just like, it's just weird. Let's see if there are answers here. Something sounds like it's moving very fast under here. It's a hunter. Oh no, it's a poison one! Ah, oh, dude. Ah, oh, god damn it, man. No. Okay. Oh no. The fact that I'm poisoned right now. Do I really have to go all the way back to an item box? Just to cure this poison. I'm kind of like just praying right now that any one of these doors is gonna be. Any one of these doors is gonna be an item box. Like, come on. More handgun. Oh, there's a blue herb. We're saved. It's a blue herb, baby. Dude, so many handgun bullets. Always right when we don't have, like, anything left. Um, we've got, like, all the big boy weapons. We don't want to use the handgun anymore. But then they go, ha ha! Here's all the handgun bullets you could ever need. An electricity connecting device. The socket is missing. It's an electricity connecting device. There's a hollow in the shape of an octagon. This is what I need the octagon handle for. Oh my god, it's an item! Oh my god. Oh, I almost missed that. I saw that there was a typewriter. Oh, game. Thank you so much. 
Honestly. That's, that's what I like to see. Magnum away. Oh. If I had to backtrack all of that way, it would have been so sad about it. Oh, that's, that's awesome. When the developers really just be so kissable right now. Nice. We're making the power happen. Awesome. Uh, an old typewriter. Yeah, let me get the ink ribbons. Oh, I get to keep the the valve handle. I can switch the supply of electric power. Move the lever. So power's on now, right? Power's on. I would say I would say yes. So that's good. Um, that handle, the fact that we've got it back in our inventory and it didn't just stay in there, we have to do something with this to reshape it. For now though, for now though, it can go back in the item box because now we at least have somewhere that we're able to come back to that's much closer. Also got a good healthy amount of blue herbs and green herbs on, on backup. And I'm going to save the game while we're here. I will save over a new one now. So I'm going to start saving. I've already reached the maximum amount of saves. So we're going to start saving over the early. Early clear saves. Good stuff. I love how good progression feels in Resident Evil. Like when everything's just clicking into place. And it just feels so good. I'm committing to this paperweight. I honestly thought I'd be using the paperweight before the... Octagon, octa handle, but here we are. Proven wrong. As I, as I said. Oh, Jesus! Actually got spooked by zombies. Oh, yep. There's a few of you. There's a few of you. All right. Hello, hello. Let's take you all down. Oh, that one's getting up. Turn around! What the hell? I actually pressed quick turn and it just didn't. There we go. Look, I pressed that and he just went forward. My god. No! Does it feel like Chris is like paper thin? Like, he goes down to caution like instantly. Another blue herb. Chris feels weaker than Claire. I think someone actually, I think someone actually mentioned this. I can't remember c clearly. Someone mentioned a comment about the difference between Chris and Claire. But Chris feels paper thin. Like I get hit once and I'm like, watch out, you are about to die. I'm eating through these leftover herbs, so to be honest, to be honest, I don't know what I should be doing. I'm gonna just not heal for now, just in case I get ambushed again and keep that double green on me. Keep the double green. Oh. Oh! oh! <laughs> Jesus! This is why we're being given all of the, the herbs, because of all the surprise zombies. Come on. Yeah. Oh, he's still alive! Look, quick turn! Oh my god, see, it, it didn't register the first... Uh, the first time I pressed it. That's really strange to me. Are you still alive? No, you're dead. I... Accidental button inputs. God damn it. Well, in this case... The, the, there's so much back and forth. There's so much back and forth. Alright, nothing around this corner. I'm safe now. I'm safe to now heal. And put everything back. Decent amount of uh, decent amount of supplies, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain. They're like, here's all the herbs that you could ever need, uh, just right on the floor for no reason. Is that a shotgun shells on the ground there? Oh my god, it is. Nice. That really blended in. 
Honestly, when the areas are really dark, like, you miss almost everything. This is why we have to re-enter an area like six times. This is the positives of backtracking. Of, ooh, I didn't see that when I was last here. Now what's in this one room? Probably not. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Spicy, spicy door. Oh! What is this Resident Evil 1 shit? Look at this! Hang on a minute! Look at this! This is like, this is Resident Evil 1! This is the mansion! Is the, that's the way you get the map of the mansion floor. Oh, handgun bullets. Honestly, at this point, I should probably just be using the handgun. Appears to be a protective suit. Oh, yes. Take the jewel. Blue and green. But there was the lion head in the mansion. In a different area, but... Still here. Which jewel? Uh... The left one? I don't know. Can I take both? It seems to work by electric power. What is that? Ah, oh, that's handy. That's handy. Okay, cool. A jewel is missing. Put the jewel back. Yes. Oh, that's great. So you, you convert the octahandle back to a square one. It's... Very convenient item. Yeah. No, no, no. I pressed the button too quickly. <sighs> Let's put the jewel back and get the red one. Slow little loading screens. Okay. Let's try this one again. The right one. Give me the red one. What is it? Ooh, magnum shell. Magnum bullets. I can't take any more items, though. Eh. Uh, no, give me a second. I gotta go back to the item box. Magnum shells, or magnum bullets. Not really shells, are they? This is very interesting. A woman drawing water. And it, it does look like a map. What are they playing at? What are they playing at? It's like a man it's like the mansion from RE1 but with a lab. Connected to a lab. I'm grateful that they put an item box here. So grateful. Um you can just stay in here for now with the socket because I'll need to take you both together. Handgun can just go there. And for now, that's that's fine. Let's go get those magnum bullets, because I'm coming back to the item box to put them in the to put them back here anyway. That's very that's very cool. Probably the, literally the last thing that I would expect. I would never say, okay, we're in the Antarctic base, I'm going to go through this door, and it's going to be uh, an almost exact replica of the Resident Evil 1 mansion room in a lab. What? Put the jewel back. Well, it's a good thing that we turned the power on. Oh, what's in here? Getting decontaminated, okay, in a lift. Where am I? Oh god. Bottom six floor of the Antarctic terminal. What is it? What am I looking at? Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I, I really need you guys to understand 
just how much I hate bugs, and any time we've played Silent Hill or Resident Evil or anything that's involved goddamn bugs, I I am I am sick of it. I'm sick of it. No. Why? Why? Take the wing. Oh, that's a wing object. Okay. The dragonfly's wings. Part of something. Yeah. Does this mean I have to get another three and then also attach it to a dragonfly? Oh, what does this room look like? There's literally two options. I, I don't even want to do this. The fact that they can damage me. Remember when I said the developers were kissable? I take it all back. Horrible people. Horrible people made this game. And I, I want no part of it. I want no part of it. <laughs> Can I also go this way? I can't, no, hang on, there is a door here, but it's locked. A biohazard symbol is carved by the keyhole. Okay, so I do have to go through bug land Ugh, to eventually unlock a door. Is that, is that, well now that like we're in that room, if I go through that door, which looks like a normal door, not a laboratory door, is, is that going to be the, the ground floor, like the, the entrance, the lobby of the mansion? Or is it just one room that's going to look like that? Because that's super strange. Uh, we'll put this away for now. And then put this away for now as well. Okay. Um, this seems appropriate. We'll keep the paperweight out of sheer stubbornness that I can't believe that I still haven't had to use it yet when I was literally certain that I would be using it much sooner than I have. This is super interesting. I'm loving the... I'm loving the sudden change of environment when you're just expecting to go through some weird lab and then it's like this room here. This game's cool. That has been established. I've, I find this to be a very, very cool Resident Evil. This is, again, because like now, like being a sequel to RE2 um, and having returning characters and then also tying it back to, to RE1 with like the, the mansion room, like... But why is my question. But why though? Why that room? Why the mansion? Okay. Bugs, great. If I walk, will they attack? Oh, I think I can just walk through them. If I, nope, never mind. Never mind. I thought I was onto something there. That would have been great. Imagine if it was just, if you just walk through them calmly, it'd be fine. Will they avoid me if I have the lighter? I had to try, otherwise I would just have a million comments about how I could just use the lighter. It doesn't work. It only works on bats. What has happened here? I don't know, but there's a green herb involved. Um, just one? I'm going to leave it there for now because I've got multiple healing items. I'm going to check if there's anything else in here first. And if I get hit, then I can go back for the, for the green herb because there's just been so many for me. Oh man, the amount of time it takes to open doors sometimes for that heartbeat suspense. Alright, follow the blood trail. They're doing this camera angle to me on purpose. Virus research report. Work continues on the, the T. Veronica virus. Ugh, the queen ant. Ugh. 
T. Veronica virus, which I extracted from the queen ant. The more research I conduct on it, the more I am impressed by how much potential it has. I have finally implanted the virus into my own body and discovered how to utilize its power. I will avoid making the mistake that I made on my father. Oh. I will surpass... Suppre sorry, suppress the activity of the virus at an ultra low temperature so that my cells will change slowly. My calculations indicate that it will take 15 years before my body will gain immunity and be become able to coexist with the virus. Until then, I have no choice but to trust the capsule that I will be in to that inept but loyal soldier ant who is my brother. For me to obtain unlimited power, some risks need to be taken. Loyal soldier ant. So refers to her brother as an ant and then says extracted from the queen ant. Is she referring to the queen ant as like is she referring to Veronica as the queen ant? Purely because she refers to Alfred as an ant. When I awaken, I will be the queen, and the T Veronica virus will be unleashed upon the entire world by my children. Every last creature on Earth will exist to serve me. At that time, the world will achieve the perfect ecosystem, just like the ant hill, but on a much grander scale. Or she's just got an obsession with talking in ant terminology. Good job, Alexia. Strange. This must be the TV that she was laughing on before. So this is the room... Oh, the blood is actually going the other way. Oh no, hang on. That's Alfred's blood. Because he collapsed here. Right. This is Alfred's blood. Yes. I know where we are now. Ooh, interesting. For a second I was like, oh, it's a blood trail leading outwards from here, but no. Something is written on it. As twins, Alexia and I are two sides of a coin. A design is carved under the name of Alexia. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. Hearts, ace, A, A, P. There's a button with a design. Push the button. Push which button. Just in order? There's no response. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's this. It's finally coming in handy. Well, this was the order, right? Heart, ace, A, A, king. And then there's the biohazard symbol and umbrella on the opposite sides. Something is written on it. Those twins are two sides of a coin. A design is carved under the name of Alexia. There's a button with a design. Push the button. Let me have a look at this. Because maybe the AA is like the symbol, which... Like Alexia's design is heart, this, this, and this. What would Alfred's be? Like going this way? Or potentially doing the opposite to what's written? Let's do the opposite first. Okay. My other alternative is start off with this then do like this and I think it was the love heart 
Alright, I need to think about this a little more. Am I overthinking this? The design's on the top and bottom. Because it's saying two, two sides to a coin. Is this like the Alexia? And this is Alfred? Oh wait, hang on. Going the other way is the... Starting with that. Yes! Awesome. Okay, so what I had to do was just take from AA and then just go the other way around. So the biohazard and umbrella symbol didn't mean anything. It appears I should put something in here. This? Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> that one was weird. Oh shit. She just put him in there. So I guess he's dead now, right? He's already dead, yeah. So Alexia just stuffed him in the tube. Take, take, I love it, it's like not take Alfred's ring. Take the Alfred's ring? I've taken the Alfred's ring. The jewel portion can be removed. Take the jewel. Oh. Okay, hold on. What if I put this in the lion's eye? It looks like it's the same shape. And it's a blue one. So then I make the, the lion's eyes, like, either replace the blue one. Or make them both blue. Is that an idea? Is that a thing? Could that be what I do? Potentially. Uh, let's go around the other side. I hate this so much. Uh, the fact that you can just get hit like multiple times. At least I'm still fine. Like if I started taking, if, I, if that took me to caution. How many, how many herbs, man? Everywhere. They must really think that we'd be out of it by now. Like, just running, running there. Alright, there's a zombie in there. And there's also another alive zombie. Hello. Hello, team. What's going on? What the hell? Did he not go down? Jesus Christ. Finally using the submachine gun stuff. This is an insane amount of herbs, guys. Like, they're literally an old-style alcohol lamp. Some alcohol is still left inside. You know what they say about alcohol? It's flammable. You heard it here first. Research report of Queen Ant on Queen Ant. After discovering the remains of an ancient virus within the genes of a queen ant, and okay, so it's a legitimate queen ant that just has a gigantic hive, I have been concentrating on the research of ants. The ecosystem of the ant seems truly ideal to me. There is one queen ant in each ant hill, and the soldier and worker ants are the queen's slaves. They dedicate their lives to the queen. The death of the queen ant means the doom of the entire ant hill. However, the soldier and worker ants can easily be replaced as long as the queen ant is alive. This is exactly the same relationship between, between myself and the other ignorant masses. I have succeeded in creating an ideal virus by implanting the queen ant's gene into the mother virus that Spencer found. I used my otherwise useless father as a test subject, however, as I expected, the virus caused a rapid change in his cells, triggering the complete destru destruction of his brain cells and body flesh. Furthermore, a special type of poison gas was generated inside his body that the blue herb had no effect against. 
Because of this, I created an antidote in case of emergency and stored it inside of the weapon slash chemical warehouse on the B2 floor. Claire got poisoned and I couldn't fix it. Claire's poisoned right now. Or does she get magically healed after the fight? And it, this is more information for if I have to fight him again and get poisoned as Chris. I don't know. Is Claire going to be poisoned? I have decided to name this virus with unimaginable potential, the T. Veronica virus. When I find out how I can utilize the power of this wonderful virus, my great research will finally be complete. Go, you crazy. You, you crazy. You, you totally crazy. You, you crazy. Um, I just got too many, too many herbs. Too many herbs, guys. This guy is so going to wake up. Oh! Yeah, let's just back out of the room. Let's just back out of the room slowly. And now he wakes up. Stay down, stop moving! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm so glad that I decided to roll with the submachine gun. My god. Ooh, the queen ant. The queen ant is dead. The ant hill seems to have perished. Well, there goes your stuff. Hooked up to a supercomputer. And handgun bullets. Great. And hidden handgun bullets. Great. Interesting. So the queen ant's gone. What was the point of lighting that alcohol lamp? Is there a point to that? Like... Something to do with this painting? It's a portrait of a beautiful woman, the master of Ashen family, Veronica. Why did... why? Just no explanation. Like, everything usually has a purpose or a reason for doing something. Not when... Not when it's this. Am I... Oh, you know what that could be? Like, I could shoot it. And maybe it, like, blows up. And that's how I deal with, like, a group of enemies. It's alcohol. It's like a... Little... Molotov. But in a lamp. That's an explosive. I'm sure one of you will tell me if I was right or wrong in my assumption there. <laughs> We have to come back for that green herb, aren't I? Well, if all these things are alive... I don't know, I don't know. What the hell is in that giant thing in the middle of the room? Because I'm not, I'm not keen to find out. Not at all. Back to the item box. First things first. Um, I'm gonna go back, sort this stuff, go get that green herb I left behind, put it back in the item box, and then I'll see what I can do with this blue gem thing. Alright, we're gonna try the thing. We take the red jewel out, and then... Can I put this blue one in? In, I'm thinking about it now. These icons look a little different. Okay, I was wrong. Okay, never mind. They're a, they're a different shape. The first thought was like, oh, I just need to make both of the lion's eyes blue. Uh, that's a no. So, this must be used for something else? I don't know what. Something else. There you go. Um, let's go, let's go back in that case. So, uh, what we, what we have now, uh, in terms of items that we can use is the valve socket. So we can go back up to that area that needed the octo, uh, the, the square one, and we can just do the valve thing. Um, 
I only have 17% left for this, so I'm thinking I might switch back to a handgun for now. Switch back to a handgun for now. Because I've got a lot of bullets. So if there's any zombies that are normal, I can take them out with this. If there's any strong boys, take them out with this. Uh, this guy can just go into my item box at this point. Um, I'm going to take these two things. I assume that they combine together, and they do. Wonderful. Um, and now, with this in mind, let me go and have a look. Always equip this, just in case I get jumped by anything bigger, and then switch to my handgun <laughs> if I get jumped by something smaller. Um, now, which way did I have to go back for that? Actually, there's still a whole area up there that I forgot to check yet. We haven't gone through that door. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's check this area out. Yeah, we didn't do this where the hunter jumped us. Oh, there's stuff here. Oh, there's something there. What is that? How do we how do we get these things? Eh. Can I I think I have to be That is terrifying. I hate that. Alright, another wing object. Oh, I hate that. Alfred and Alexia, like as kids, like Getting on, getting on the little two-person merry-go-round. Is that what this is for? Just this area to get those two wing objects? I can't even inspect this. What is this? Can I go down here? Why would it allow me to? Why? Why? I was wondering if I could jump down there and get like an item. Doesn't look like there's anything in the water. I'm just going to ignore this area it's unsettling. Now what's in this? Now what's in here? What's it? What's in here? Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> Hang on. Yes, okay, these are it. Ah, oh, the rooms are connected. That's where we were coming from. We're in the mansion? It's locked. Dude. We're literally in the... It's a weird... It's a different... It's it's slightly different because there's no stuff over this side. Just over that side. I I don't want to do this yet. Dude, this, this is literally a whole mansion. Oh my god. Uh, that's very... That's very unexpected. They not only hit us with just one room to begin, but they were like, Hey, what if it was literally the RE1 mansion? Recreated. That's bizarre. So that's going to be a whole area that we explore. Um, so we're going to tie up a loose end. That's... Tie up a loose end that's not in the, the mansion. And do this. Because once we get this handle stuff out of the way, then we can then we can think about the future. So up here. Handle time. Cool. It stays in there, so now I've actually gotten rid of it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was I was ready for you, buddy. I had my shotgun. Oh my god. If he hit me like as he got into the the window, it would have been so mad. Well, that's good. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is why we hold on to the shotgun. Wonderful. Um 
I guess I'm going to put those two wing objects back in an item box as well. Because... I don't need to do anything about that. Should I be preparing for a, a Nosferatu boss fight right now? Because I'm going to use the crane key. Do you think I would be able to make do with this and then two healing items? And then I just have this goddamn dumb wing object? Let's, let's, let's see. He's literally right outside. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. Crane key. Who could have done this? Who could have done this? <laughs> Alexia. That is how I dispose of insignificant bugs, said the spider to the fly. How do you wish to die? <laughs> No. No. I would have rather have fought Nosferatu again. Not the giant spider. No, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Fuck. God damn it, dude. No. Don't make me do this shit. He dropped something on the ground. Can I get it? Oh my god, please tell me I can just leave. I don't want to fight him. There it is! That's the thing that I was thinking about. Please tell me. If I can leave, please tell me. Oh my god. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not wasting my ammo on it. I'm not wasting my ammo on it. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not doing it. Oh, there's no, there's no drones anymore. There is no reason to fight that spider. You know how I feel about bugs. That's a waste of ammo right there. That's a waste of ammo. We can do this just like we did with uh, Alexander's ring. Uh, sorry, Alfred's ring. So we now have two gems. Do I need to get a red one now? Alexia, man. God damn Alexia. Send the spider to the fly. <laughs> I hate it. Thank you. I hate it. Um, I'm gonna go go back to an item box. We're not we're not fighting a spider. I didn't have to fight Nosferatu, so that that is that is a plus. It's definitely a plus. I'm just glad that we weren't forced into that fight, because that would have eaten up all of my shotgun ammo. I could just tell. Not what I'm not what I'm into. I just wanna shoot Alexia in her goddamn face and end this thing and then find out where Claire and Steve are and go, oh no! Steve died of frostbite, Claire. That's such a shame. Let's get out of here. Um, where are those wings? No idea what these are going to be used for, but I've got three of them now. And then I got these two jewels. I'm going to save at this point. I think this is a good opportunity for me to save. It's been a little while now. <laughs> Made some progress. At this point, I don't really feel like I need backup saves, because I haven't really done anything that's like super risky. But I'll do it anyway. I guess we'll just roll with uh, just roll with this as a setup. Two healing items. I mean, we've got more than enough in grenade launchers, bow guns, magnums, assault rifle. We, we're good. We're good. Uh, I guess now all that's left is to go to the to the mansion area, uh, 
which was out this way, I believe. I I thought that I would have uh, would have probably found Claire by now, like walking around this whole place. Like maybe like their th their thing blew up and then they took cover like inside somewhere. Like I just thought that I would have encountered them. Ew! What is that? Oh, it's Claire. What the? She has fainted inside the cocoon. I need some kind of tool to open it. What the? F She's just hidden. She's hidden behind the thing. I just thought I would check this before going up the stairs. Excuse me, she's just literally hidden. What if I just didn't check back here? She has fainted inside the cocoon. I need a tool. Uh, what tool could I use to open the cocoon? Do I need a key item? Or do can I just use a weapon? Let's just have a look here first. Well, hang on, there's something up there. It's a picture of twins and their father. Three weird holes open. They are at a boy's finger. The man's ear and the girl's bosom. Um, that would be the gems. That's the that's the red, blue, and green gems. I need to get Alexia's. How convenient! I got a knife to cut to cut her free. So I'm gonna put the red, green, and uh, blue gems in there. Hello, Claire. I've come to cut you down. Siblings reunited, finally! Oh my god. Claire. Reunited. Chris! I missed you so much. I know, but we have to get out of here. Not yet. We have to find Steve. Who's Steve? He's a boy who escaped from that island with me. But then a monster attacked us and we got separated. So that means Steve is still somewhere in this base? I'm sure of it. Claire? What's wrong? I think... I think I've been... Poisoned. Just hold on. I'll be right back. Ah, uh, okay. That's the room that we got the, uh... That's the room we got the magnum in. Claire is poisoned. I need serum. Oh, fuck. Alright. We'll run back then. That's the third knife we've got in this game so far. Got any more for me? Like, god damn. Alright, let's quickly go to B2 area. If I can remember. Does that mean I have to go past the spider? Oh no. This means I'm gonna have to try and run past the spider to get there, right? Oh no wait, hold on. No. No I don't. I just have to go down the lift. Yes. It's just down this lift. Whew. No, spider avoided. Spider avoided. Just down here is where that was. Nice nice and quick little little, little run. Now where, where's the... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. One hit! Oh my god, that was that was good. Oh, I accidentally pressed the X button. At the <laughs> Instead of the right trigger and the X button, let's go back down and deal with our problem. Off the guy. Where is he? Cool. One. Um Where's the serum? Oh. Lovely. Watch out! So it's literally an item that only um, makes itself 
available when you need it for Claire, so you can't just like have it on you ahead of time. <laughs> because of course, just the magical serum that appears on the shelf. Let's run that one back to Claire and heal her. It's very interesting that they make this like a thing. I guess if I didn't get hit by Nosferatu as Claire, then I wouldn't need to get healed with the serum. It's just a matter of how efficient you are at fighting bosses. Oh, the answer is very clear that I'm not super efficient at that one. I either run away from them or uh, die miserably. <laughs> Back to Claire. Good, uh, good little throwback to getting the, the serum in RE1. Claire. Claire. I'll take care of you now. Feeling better? Thanks to you. Just like a big brother, huh? You're always looking out for your little sister. <laughs> it's Alexia! Alexia? There really is an Alexia? <laughs> it is almost time, you genetically inferior siblings. <laughs> <laughs> she might know where Steve is. Let's go. <laughs> oh, okay. get separated as soon as we got reunited by the danger noodle god damn it are we back to playing as claire are we gonna switch playable characters here and i literally had the shotgun on chris chris don't uh. <laughs> my leg no! oh that's go. that's steve i'll be fine but chris you've got to save steve go yeah, that's right. Save Steve. Of all people. I know that I'd be choosing my brother. Save Steve. Okay. Great. This is what you're leaving me with! Oh my god. Seriously. Whatever I had left on me... Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, really, man? Like... This is all that I have. Do I have to fight Alexia with this? But there's shotgun shells! What? No! Oh my god. Okay, this is why we make backup saves. I should have put the shotgun away? The game really does love to do those things where it says, haha, what if we just... Ugh, man. That's annoying. It's like, what if we just switched characters on you without knowing? Look, if I'm going to go up against Alexia right now, then I need to have good weapons. It might not be the end, because we still have to do like the Steve thing. Maybe, maybe let's not do the Magnum, but maybe I might run with, like, maybe I might run with, with this. And then... Is there a typewriter in here? There's something behind the bookshelf. What could this hook be for? No, that's what I would put a... That's what I would put a shotgun on, right? I should restart. Just to figure out what this is. Right? When did... Pretty sure I... I pretty, I'm pretty sure I, like, just saved. Uh, 
I want to see what's behind. The completionist in me needs to see what the because this is what you put the shotgun on. I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly restart and come back to this point and take the shotgun off of off of Chris. Okay, here we are. We're back. This is what I'm gonna be rolling with. Healing items, assault rifle, shotgun. Because I'm going to put the shotgun on this hook. What do I get? Aha! That is what we get. Flame rounds for the grenade launcher. So maybe I should be using that. There we go. Something else here. Oh, and normal grenade launcher rounds. Amazing. I have a feeling that maybe we should be needing those. So let's pick up the shotgun. And let's have a look. Now, I had a feeling that I'm like, what if we're now going to... I need to prepare myself because what if there is going to be a moment where we switch uh, to Chris again? Like, what if it's just going to keep doing that. I don't know if I'm technically right at the end or not, or whether I still have a bit more to go. Um, and I'm just like, will Chris have access to an item box? Is there going to be a thing where it's like, whatever I have on me will be stuff that just Chris doesn't have access to, so I'm just kind of like, I feel like I should just have the shotgun for that brief moment where I unlocked the thing, and then I kind of want to put it back just in case, just in case, because in terms of powerful weapons, I've got the grenade launcher as, as Claire, so I can kind of work with this and have an assault rifle and healing items. And then Chris um, can just do what he wants to do with the bowgun, with explosive bolts. Uh, and the, maybe the Magnum? I don't know. Like, I'm, I almost equipped the Magnum for Claire, because I'm like, what if this is the final boss? It, this, it's just not really clear. I don't know if I'm going to go back to Chris. I don't know if I'm just going to be leaving these in the thing. So I am, I am preparing. I am trying to be smart just in case. So I'm like, give Claire a couple of healing items. Leave some in here. Leave some powerful weapons in here just in case. And take... A grenade launcher. There's also a Duraliman case which I can now finally open, which is good. Uh, so let's check this and see what's in this one. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Magnum rounds are inside the case. Ugh, see this is the thing. What if... Uh, oops. What if I need the Magnum right now and I need all those bullets? I don't even know. I don't even know. I reckon I'm going to play it safe. This is literally 22 grenades, 18 flame rounds, 100% an assault rifle with a reloading option. So if this comes up later, that's good. If, if like keeping it in there is a good idea, that's good. That's a risk that I am taking. It is a calculated, calculated risk. I just wish that I could save the game in this room right now because I don't know if I need this. I don't know if I need these. Like I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. So. Let's just let's just run with this. Let's let's run with this and see how we go. It's just a real shame that there's not. Oh yeah, there's these as well. It's a real shame that there's just not a typewriter in here right now. I can only hope that Chris is going to be grateful that I leave the shotgun in there. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I wish that I could save. Let's see what's on the other side of the door. Is it a is it a boss fight with Alexia? No, it's just a room. Okay. What is this room like? It's a corner hallway with a door. Okay. Oh, yo! Whoa! My god. That was, uh, that was sudden. Okay. It's locked from the other side. Oh. Is there going to be another tentacle that's going to come out? Should I... Should I shoot it to clear it out of the way? With what? How strong is it, though? Is that using... Ugh. Okay. Cool. Wonderful. Is there gonna be another one? I guess... Ugh! 
Oh, as if it damaged me as well. The fact that it like comes out of the wall, even if you're being cautious and gets you, is uh, is pretty bad. There's a lot of things that don't really give you the chance to react in this game. Like enemies just literally being right on top of you straight away. Not, not hugely, not hugely excited about that. All right, two tentacles. Now what's behind the next door? <laughs> what's behind the next one? Oh, we're in a... okay. Oh! I didn't know that... okay. Hey. Alright. Uh... Interesting. Oh. The iron grid is down. It might open with the card reader on the right. Ah, I need a card. Okay. To go down that hallway. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Alright, he's gonna come out. And there's another one on the wall. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. Uh, you look like you're... not dead. So what's the point? There's nothing... I don't think there's anything in there in particular. The iron grid is closed, I can't open it. Yeah, but the zombies are super strong and they're just going to literally knock it down. Just these bugs everywhere. this security file literally underneath a cannon the Ashford family's most important secret is kept at this lab as a safety precaution I have installed a self-destruct <laughs> a self-destruct in my Resident Evil game I can't believe it uh, in the control room and have placed the activation code inside the computer once inputted, all door locks will be released to provide easy access to escape routes. By using the elevator that directly connects to the hangar, one should be able to escape from the lab easily. Please remember that I have used the name of my beautiful ancestor for the activation code. Glory to the Ashfords, Alexander Ashford. Oh my god. Is it Code Veronica? Is that is it the name of the game? I have used the name of my beautiful ancestor for the activation code. Guys, it was in the title the whole time. That's what code Veronica means. There's a handle. Turn the handle. Sure. What? Oh. If I was stood there, would I have just died? Oh! I just got pushed into the... What the fuck? I just got pushed into the... To the gate. I was like, what? How did I not die? That was lucky. Take the crystal. Taking the crystal. Uh... There's a thing inside it. A well-polished crystal. It contains a card inside. I could obtain the card if I can... If I crack it. Okay, how do I crack it? Do I have to put it underneath this? Well, that's not gonna work. I really tempted fate with that one, didn't I? I really tempted fate with that one. <laughs> oh, that's a good retry though. We didn't have to go all the way back to the start. All right, let me, let me do that again. <laughs> I just thought I would quickly check this area out before I retry that crystal ball thing, just in case there's something I can get up here. Uh, security release for the linear launcher. Lock is automatically released in an emergency. How to release the security. The anti-BOW linear launcher. 
Interesting. Turn both devices simultaneously with a re release once charging is completed. It's locked. There's a hollow in the shape of a dragonfly. That's what I need to make with the wings that I have. I need one more wing and then I guess the actual body of a dragonfly. Alright, now let's go and do this crystal wall thing. Okay, so what I think is the deal here, okay, is I think I've got to crack this, but I have to like bait it to then place it underneath it because I have to get this cracked. It's like, you no, know, there's no need. I'm like, can't I place it down like right in front of it? I'm terrified of this thing. I'm going to get, I'm going to get hit. How do I, how can I, how can I do it? Should I, should I just make like a quick, like run across the side and then quickly while I'm doing, while it's doing this, like you're joking. Then what do I do? Come on. I have to. Oh my God. You're kidding me. And then quickly grab it. And then quickly fucking get the fuck out. Oh my God. Okay, that's, 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 that's awful. <laughs> and I also made sure that I checked out the, the cell beforehand. So I got the bowgun arrows. There was two lots in that cell because I'm not doing it without it. He really just put the emergency card in a crystal ball in a cannon. We have to crush it with this thing, which is not at all safe. That's just going to crush me. Um... And this is emergency evacuation. It'll only work in an emergency. And then a staircase, which goes up there, which I checked before. Okay. It's time to use the security card on this thing, I guess. Uh, yep. Card reader. Use the security card. Open it up, boy. It locked behind me. This is not what I was... Oh, uh, am I now in the final boss area? Oh, uh, is this Alexia? Should I have this? Uh, I still have the security guard, so it didn't... Uh, security card, so it didn't discard it. So maybe it's not, because it didn't say that I should... Delete, remove the card from inventory. So maybe I still have a further use for it. Are these knights going to attack me? What type of hallway is this? Oh, it's literally Steve. Oh, he's in the place of Nosferatu. Steve? Oh, Claire. Wow. Can't he just slide his head under? He got a little tiny head. No, Let's put it under. I can't do it. Who did this to you? That crazy woman told me she was going to perform the same experiment on me that she did on her own father. She's completely insane. What's wrong? Claire! Oh, that's a bit grotesque. <laughs> they went all out. Oh, he's got an he's got an axe. We're running away. This is what this hallway is for. Game design 101. We're running away. Holy fuck! Oh my god! No! Whoa! I was- I just needed to check that it didn't almost just kill me in one go, what the fuck? Dude! What the- it takes me down to orange straight- I didn't have enough healing items! What the fuck?
fuck? God, Claire, get out of there! <laughs> oh, it's the danger! That's right, Steve. You love me. You love me. Nice. Oh, Steve. Where are you putting your hand? Don't do that. You're warm. Steve, you've got to hang in there, okay? Uh, my brother's come to save us. We're getting out of here. Your brother kept his promise. I'm sorry, I cannot. What? What are you saying? I'm glad that I met you. I... I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no Steve. you... <laughs> you ruined it. Steve? Steve? <laughs> Am I alone here, guys? Anyone else feeling the awkwardness with me? <laughs> <laughs> At last, I found you, Alexia. Come with me. Okay. <laughs> You're responsible for the creation of the T Veronica virus. And now the only existing sample is in your body. I want it. Now. <laughs> you want it? You Come are not get worthy it. of its power. <laughs> She's got the red gem on her neck. That I I need it. Oh, okay. She doesn't have the red gem on her neck anymore. In the movie. Oh, and then, then she had it again. Okay. I've never seen Wesker actually look worried before. Watching in the background, though, like uh. Chris Wesker, Wesker. Back in the mansion, reunited again. Chris, since you're one of my best men, I'll let you handle this. <laughs> what an asshole. Do I have to fight this person? Oh my god. I should have put the magnum on Chris. No! I'm gonna have to- okay, hold on. 
look at what I have! I gave him a 17% of a submachine gun as insurance just in case. That's... That's not good. I'm gonna have to just really kind of take my time with the handgun. Anyway, let me just have a brief little moment with this music just to say the Steve scene, like they went all out on his transformation. That's probably one of the grossest like ones yet, like next to, next to Birkin in terms of like those human transformations. Birkin gets pretty fucked up. So this is like on that level, uh, which, is, which is pretty fitting. Just the fact that he literally like has like an incredible Hulk moment where he goes, oh, Claire, which is which is actually really interesting that I say that how he has like an incredible Hulk moment where he recognizes like the girl that he loves. Liv Tyler um, played Hulk's love interest in the 2008 Hulk movie, right? Am I right? The 2008 one, I'm pretty sure. With Edward Norton. How weird is that? That's so funny. Um, so, Steve died, being like, I love you, Claire. That scene would have been fine without that, like, God damn it, man, like, <laughs> it was, it was just, it was a bit bad, and like, Claire literally, like, tearing up over Steve. Like, it, we're really forced, it's a really forced relationship uh, between those two characters, and I'm, I don't really care about that whatsoever. Uh, I really wish that I knew we were going to be fighting a boss straight away is Chris. Like, I didn't even get a chance to go to an item box. So now I just really have to make do with this. So, let's hope I don't die. Okay, you get staggered. Whoa! Ah, stop! With your weird flame arm! Weird flame arm! Stop! Does the flame go out? Oh, and of course you vomit on me! This, this goddamn music is amazing. Oh! Oh, did I, did I get her? Nope, she's getting back up. Oh, did I get her? Oh, fuck yes. The submachine gun worked! Oh my god, literally, you didn't even use all of it up. I was expecting this to be awful. Oh, thank god. Thank god. There's no way that that was the final fight with Alexia, though. Like, there's no way. That's severely underwhelming. I have to get her little thing on the staircase, right? Her, her brooch. Oh, hang on. It's at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> Go back down the stairs. Yeah, she had it in the, the, the graphics, and then it switched to the, the, to the cutscene. She didn't have it on her neck, and then it switched to the close-up of her neck, and she had it again. Take Alexia's... Take the Alexia's Choker. Well, now I need the, um... I need all three. And I guess I can put them in that little portrait. Uh, the back. Wonderful. The middle portrait is removed. I've obtained the Alexia's Jewel. She's gonna be... She's gonna lie down there? Okay. I still can't do anything about that. Well, I guess I'm going back to the item box. Oh, never mind. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. She just gets up. At the loading screen. Just to let us know that that wasn't the end. That's good. Because otherwise that would have been very underwhelming. <laughs> Alright, now we go back to the item box. Are we going to switch back to Claire again? I don't know. Claire's got the grenade launcher. And we didn't even, we didn't even need it. And she's got the assault rifle. If we don't switch back to Claire again, I'm not starting again just to get a grenade launcher. So we're missing out on the grenade launcher. Uh, but what we do get... We literally have these as well. Like, I'm, I'm so confused at what else we have to do. Uh, but we're ditching... <laughs> we're ditching everything else. Uh, get this out of here. It's time to wield the big boys. We're getting the magnum just in case. And then the shotgun. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Also, full health items only. I think that's... This This is a fair call, right? Also, actually, hang on. Before I save, I'm gonna heal myself. With this guy. 
Now let's save the game. Use an ink ribbon, yes. And I will save over a new slot this time, just in case something goes terribly wrong. <laughs> and I need to and I need to go back as Claire to give Chris the grenade launcher or something. But I think I think that's pretty good. The Magnum and the shotgun should do the trick. I'm almost tempted as it like to get the explosive uh, bowgun bolts as well, but really. Am I gonna need more than 18 Magnum bullets and 27 shotgun shells? I don't know. I'm tempted. Nah, I've saved the game. I've saved the game. So like, worst case scenario, worst case scenario, I can just reload the save if I needed an extra weapon. So Alexia is transformed into a, uh, into a, into a sexy monster who can shoot flame out of her, uh, flames out of her arm. And Wesker picked a fight with her and then said, you know what? I actually don't want to do this. See you later. I want the virus in your body. I'm going to get it from you. <laughs> and then I hope Claire's okay with her, her dead lover while we go solve this secret puzzle without her. One at a time, baby. Chuck him in. Cool. I got four slots free. Should I go get the bowgun? Nah, this is, this is fine, right? This is fine. This is fine. Is it fine? I, I don't know. <laughs> What's behind the secret door? Oh, there, oh, there's normal zombies. Are you kidding me? There's normal zombies? You know what? I'm not wasting a shotgun and magnum bullets on a, on normal zombies. We're getting the bowgun, baby. And I'm getting the explosive bolts. Now there's a door here, which is unlocked. It looks like that might unlock the... Oh, actually, hold on. No. Yes, it should unlock the door. Oh, but Claire's in the room and the door's locked. I was gonna say, can we just like reunite with Claire this way? But I don't think so. Uh, Code Veronica report. Is the name of the game. Code Veronica report. After many long years of research, I finally identified the inheritance element that administers the intelligence of man. Uh, I even succeeded in manipulating the absolute value of intelligence artificially by recomposing the base alignment of the element. I then sampled the gene of our great ancestor, manipulated its element, and then implanted it into the unfertilized egg of a surrogate mother. What I didn't expect... Oh... Was there was twins. A boy and a girl were born. The boy had higher intelligence than normal, but not high enough for him to be considered a genius. However, the girl had unmatched intelligence that easily allowed her to be classified as a genius. She was exactly what I had been looking for, the revival of our great ancestor. I already determined their names, the girl's name is Alexia, and the boy's name Alfred. I'm certain that Alexia will elevate the name of the Ashford family to extreme glory. So... He took, took genes from Veronica and put it in an unfertilized egg of a surrogate mother. So... Veronica... Veronica's genes were then put into an unfertilized egg of a surrogate mother. And then Alexander uh, got laid. To then birth twins that had the, the Veronica genes to make super babies but only wanted one super baby really so that's very interesting veronica report code veronica baby and there's a lift here oh there's herbs here as well i, I yeah yeah <laughs> do i need them no i've unlocked the door do i do i need those herbs no i do not and also i just realized that now that i've unlocked this chris could have done the the shotgun thing here anyway 
without needing to restart as Claire. If we kept it in the item box, at least. Yeah. Interesting. What's the point of me being able to do this? I'm not really seeing the point of me being able to do that, but that's fine. Um, just making sure that I've that I've gotten everything out of the way. Um, let me put this away, and I'll just pick up the two green herbs. It's just because I want to pick up almost every item, <laughs> almost every item, because I've probably missed a couple of things. To double check this way as well. Because what, what can we look? Can we look at in here? Oh, there's an actual cutscene. Claire, is that you, Claire? Chris? No, the door won't open. Hey, is Steve with you? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Claire. We have to get out of here immediately. Can you unlock it from the inside? No, I can't. should be a self-destruct system somewhere. If you activate it, all the electronic locks might be deactivated. I've taken the security file. Nice. So I actually needed to kind of have a chat to her. So there you go. Something seems to be caught inside. Oh, it's the security card. Right. Security card was among the files. Hard to release the security lock. Do I have to go that way? Ooh. Okay, hold on. Because that that's probably gonna have relevance now, going up to that area that had like the things that were that were locked. So we'll sort out this area first. So many places to go and check out, honestly. Oh, I took the security guard. The security card. And there's items down here, I think, as well. <laughs> oh, there's so many. Oh, there's even the... I can't open this with my hands. Ah, oh, there's so many items, dude. <laughs> button on the panel. Push the button. Okay. That's the third wing. Which means I should be looking for the fourth wing as well. And then the actual dragonfly thing itself. And then I need to put it on that door. Got it. I went the wrong way. I'm supposed to be going back to the item box. I'm all over the place today. I'll ignore you for now. <laughs> this episode is titled the back and forth ending where I literally just run in between every single goddamn item box I can. I regret Picking up the bow gun, guys. The, the final boss was not as close as I thought it would be. <laughs> I still have to do a bunch more running around. This is what I get for whenever I decide that I'm going to be like, alright, this is the ending episode, and then it ends up being obnoxiously long. Um, look. Maybe it was a mistake. To pick you guys up. So, what I'm going to do is, at least for now, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to go pick up the other stuff. Because again, I have to come back to this item box anyway to get the, the wing. I'm going to just do that now. I'm just going to go and get the stuff. Save you some time. Alright baby, I'm finally ready to take these guys on. So, inventory. Because I didn't, I got too carried away and was like, ah, final boss. Um, I took up some stuff. So I've got some full slots. Free. Um, first aid spray. 
Just one. Got these guys. One security card, because I've got to use that. Um, I realized I actually had the four wings now, so I've got the four wings with that last uh, dragonfly one that I found in the capsule. And now I'm going to use these to take out the zombies. So epic. So epic. Take them down. I don't know if that was... I don't know if that was enough. Okay, that was enough. How many more is there? Where are they? Okay. Oh, wait! Where? Wait, hang on a minute. Oh! Why did he get so fast? He got really fast for no reason. Wait a minute. I know where we are. Wait a minute. We're... Oh, they... I guess they recreated... Did they recreate... They recreated this part of the little mansion place. So, splitting uh, the... Splitting the rooms up of uh, Alexia and Alfred, but here. That's really weird. I was like, I, I recognize this place, but why is it here? Oh, that's nice. Just a save, just a save option. Oh, that's the key. Lovely. Check this sterile room key. Well, it's got the biohazard symbol on it. There's an option to save here. Oh, the shotgun shells, yeah, sure. I'm just literally, oh, hang on. I'm just looking around. Oh, well now I'm full. It's all right, do we need, do we need to save here, guys? No. Because I'm full up on items, that's why. Bet you any money there's also going to be <laughs> there's herbs there as well there's there's items everywhere at this point in the game honestly i'm getting spoiled and here i am running around like being like i need to conserve all of this stuff this game is very generous so it's an even it's even a copy of the rooms the music box lid is closed the blue sapphire has been removed it's the blue sapphire Okay. Oh, the music is playing. Okay. The music box is playing. Stop the music box. The music box is locked. The red ruby has been removed. <gasps> Ooh. Ah, okay. That makes sense while we've got that biohazard key, because that key unlocks the door, which goes down that hallway where it has the tiger that literally has the red and the blue eyes, which are the which are the gems. But when you take a gem out when you take a gem out The, it moves. Do I have to turn the... Can I even turn the power off? To stop it from moving? Because it says it operates electronically. Oh, hang on. I'm going the wrong way. I'm just going the long way around. It's literally what I'm getting this key for. Use the sterile room key. Cool. Shuck it away. Now... Do I have to... Because there's also this. I don't even think this is an item. I just think this is a reference to the, the map of the mansion being in the first game. Oh, I can move this. 
Ooh, hang on, wait a minute. Actually, hold on. I can move this. Does that mean I can, like, climb up on this? There were shotgun shells there! What the f Where are they? Hold on. Oh, they're literally just on the side. <laughs> oh, this is me just seeing if I can, um, climb up on this. Oh, it's cracked. I'm figuring everything out later. Is this going to fall through the floor now? Because it's cracked? Oh, this is so dumb. I'm literally just coming in here now and seeing this stuff. Put it on the cracked floor? No? No. I thought it would have fallen through the floor or something. Never mind. Why can you move that? Oh, I had to move it like it just... <laughs> I'm so, oh, this is so dumb. I got the map of the Antarctic lab. There we go. I finally unlocked the full map right when I never needed it anymore. Jesus. This is hilarious. Cool, so you can get the map. I was like, oh, can you? I mean, at, at least I didn't miss it. I was just late. So figuring it out. Oh yeah, that's this place. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in Bugland. Yeah, no, that's not where I want to be. If I'm not going to be, like, at the ending right now, this is going to be awkward. Because <laughs> it, it literally feels like it. Because look, right, take the jewel. If I take one, it then spins it around. How am I supposed to... Because it says it seems to work by electric power. I have to turn off the power in order to get both jewels. But I had to turn like a, a valve handle to to turn the power on in general. Oh no, it was just this switch, wasn't it? Yeah, cool. Now I can just turn it off. Duh. Wonderful. All right, power's off. Now I can go get the gems. Uh, let's put you here for now, so I can pick up the two gems. Then I have to go put them in the music box, and then... Uh, I guess we'll keep that. I need so many... I I'm ditching the bowgun. Honestly, I, I've just, like, I've had it on me, and I'm being stubborn at this point. Because <laughs> I'm trying to just carry as much as possible just in case I end up in the fight, but... It's really not, not working out for me. Let's do another backup save. Another one. <laughs> Another backup save. And while this has taken a long time, and I'm still like, literally trying to figure out where I actually am, at least I'm having a great time while I'm doing it. That's what matters. Okay. Let's, let's just stick with that. Let's get those gems. Let's put them in the music box. Let's open up those slots, baby. Let's, let's smash it out. While we have this literal epic music accompanying us the whole time. Ah, oh, that's why we had to... That's why we had to unlock the door with the key. That's why we had to unlock the door with the key. Wonderful. Because nothing beats these nice little keyhole doors that aren't electronically sealed. So, so much, like, progress being made, but at the same time it feels so sideways. Like, 
You have to do this, to do this, to do this, to do this. So I can get these. And then I can do the other stuff. Cool. Uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the back to the music boxes. Put them in. Rest in peace, Bowgun. We really tried. We really tried to include the Bowgun, but in the end, it's a Magnum and shotgun kind of day for Chris Redfield. And then whatever Claire's doing, having a Jesus. I no. All right. God damn it. It just refreshed a whole bunch of them. As long as we get the headshots where their heads don't even actually explode, then I'm fine with it. Because only I'm not wasting more than one bullet. Cool. That's that's really annoying that they did uh, refresh them. Although that's like one of the first instances that it's done that in a while. Is there still one here? Come on, buddy. I know you're here. Oh, hang on. It's not doing an auto aim. Oh, never mind. He's, uh, it's the other zombie then. So I'm assuming what I have to do is put the red gem in to get the music plate, put the blue gem in, put the music plate in, then I can go up the ladder again, right? Um, put you in. That's why you're shaped this way. It all makes so much sense now. Yeah, this is such like a sideways progression. Like it puts you at like this point of the game where it's like so epic. And it's like, doon, 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 doon. Like, hell yeah, everything's coming to a really good climax. But then it's like, hold on guys, I need to do my music box puzzle real quick by fiddling around with all these doors and turning the power off and blah, blah, blah. So much to do. So little. Bring me the ladder. It's a really interesting and funny way for them to be like, oh, we want to still have them go back to this location, but at the same time, they can't because they're in the Antarctic, so let's just recreate it in the lab. <laughs> so we can still be in the same area. This is different, though. Ah, uh ha -huh. Hello? You look like the thing that I need. Yes, you are the thing that I need. Okay, this room is different. Oh my god, why does that- that literally looks like something's about to crash through the window. This is literally an angle. This is the worst angle I've ever seen. There it is, gold dragonfly. Now we can unlock that door right at the very top, where we checked out the thing. Uh, this is literally- like, look at the cross against there. Please just be a weird angle. Don't have anything smash through the window. Please don't. Please don't. This is why there's no music. It's, it, there's, there's tension. There's tension, I don't like it. I'm not picking up those handgun bullets. <laughs> Am I going back to the item box again? Is there anything that I even need in the item box at this point? I don't think so. I've got the security guard, um, security card, and the dragonfly. I've got weapons. I got healing items. I think we're good. Okay, nothing smashed through the window. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> if that happened, I would simply pass away. Uh, I just, that's not what I'm not what I'm there for. Cool. Uh, now we can just leave. And then we can now run past that door where Claire was, where she gave us the security file. Um, she gave us the security file. And then we can put the dragonfly in that lock and then activate some sort of self-destruct finally and then have Claire be free. That's what we want. 
I'm just gonna leave you behind. Which way did I have to go? It is this way. Yeah, it is this way. Cool. We're finally getting there after weird sideways exploration. Actually, it appears to be Con Conco Patrol Pump. Okay. And this is. Oh no, that's fine. That's not the control panel that will make the self destruct happen, apparently. Last minute stop to the item box where I could have taken those handgun bullets. Let's do it. I kind of accepted not being able to pick up every item. For the, for the rush. For the rush. Let's put these away, because these are only like, these aren't full heals, and let's do full heals instead. As much as I want the bow gun, we're probably going to have to pick up another item. I get the vibe that I'm going to get poisoned by something, because that lift is like right on top of that giant cocoon thing. But then again, I'm probably overthinking it. I've been overthinking this whole episode. Let's just run with that. I, f I feel pretty, pretty safe. I feel pretty safe with that, you know? Feels good. Run past the crying Claire. Sorry there. Because then we should be able to activate, go down that emergency exit lift. Dragonfly door. Let's go. Open up. You've unlocked the door. In we go. Now what's in here? <laughs> what's in it? What's in the box? More zombies. Oh, this is where I really should have had the bow gun. Hey, okay. There's just two, and there's a herb there, and there's a zombie on the ground. There's a terminal. Here's the release for the self-destruct system. Use the security card. Yes, you put the security card in the card slot. We're activating the self-destruct for a change. How good's that? Finally doing it. Oh yeah, we need to enter the code, right? Code Veronica. I'm pretty sure that's the one that we identified it as before, as per the the note. Guys, it's the name of the game. Code Veronica. Nice. Self-destruct safety lock release system has been released. All door locks have been released in order to help expedite the evacuation process. Claire's free, baby. We'll you feel bad for that one zombie that's going to be right next to the explosion? <laughs> Hell yeah. Five minutes. Got to pick up this solo green herb. Um, well, this is annoying. This is... Oh my god. Really? Really? It takes one headshot. I would have expected like maybe two body shots, but they really hit me with how long that one took. That's a shame. Alright, let's just leave. Let's leave. You made it! Nice. Come on, let's get out of here. Not the tentacles again. I'm over the tentacles. That's different. What are we going to do? Oh, the linear launcher, baby. Okay. Turn the key clockwise simultaneously on three. Got it. <laughs> Two, three. It 
just birthed a new one. Hi. Uh, what happens now? I'll keep her busy. Just go for the emergency elevator. Chris, but I can take care of this. Just go. Ah, uh, so we're playing as Chris. You have to make it. Don't die on me. Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Uh, save, save her, save her, save her. Do not, don't you dare. Oh! This game is so gruesome with its. What the hell, dude? This game's transformations are fucked up. <laughs> what the? That took one magnum bullet, are you kidding me? To make this happen? Oh my god. No, thank you. I'm just gonna... Oh no, not the leeches from Resident Evil Zero! Oh my... Dear god. Oh my... No, there is poison! Alright, hang on. I didn't get poisoned. We're okay. You're just spitting poison. Nope, she just keeps spitting poison. Oh my... Oh my god, there's so many things! Alright, hold on. Hold on. Can I take out these things at all? Dude! There's so many things to look out for. <laughs> I don't even get a chance to react to that! I legitimately just didn't get a chance to react to getting, like, hit by any of those things. There's unlimited of them! What the f- Who- Who came up with this? Who- Who did this? I got- Ended up getting poisoned. Who did this? Who thought this was a good idea? What the fuck is going on? I'm putting everything I've got just into my magnum. This is fucked up. Okay, that's it. Cool. Great. This is... this is awful. That was legitimately the, the worst designed boss fight I could ever imagine. That was shocking. Like, they just threw everything. They're like, here, have two tentacles, spitting poison, bunch of just fucking weird leech things that just have vines that smack you, and you just get hit constantly, constantly, constantly. Like, what is that as a boss fight? That's absolutely terrible. My god. Alright, let's uh let's try that again, shall we? Let's try that one again. That's fun. My my plan is do nothing but just shoot the belly with the magnum. I think I missed a couple of shots. Oh, I didn't activate the self-destruct. Cool. It gives me a chance. Wonderful. I'm going back to the item box. I'm gonna prepare myself a bit more because that was literally terrible <laughs> and then let's do that again this is the inventory we're rolling with because i don't know what else to tell you uh magnum shotgun explosive bow gun four healing items this is the mixed herb there's a poopy color because it's blue red and green and my security guard so i have one slot free which i believe should be for the the linear launcher even though i'm going to be using health anyway so i'll have enough item slots free this is what we're rolling with uh, let's see how it goes. Alright, let's do this again, shall we? Alright, uh, yep. Nope. You get shot, because you're not attacking Claire. Turn into a big thing. I'm just going to shoot at your belly really quickly. Really quickly. Re really quickly. Can I use this thing now? Oh my god, it pushes me into the corner! 
energy is being charged, lock is released once charge is complete. Okay. Um, it's literally the fact that, like, <laughs> they push you into the corner as well. I think it's ridiculous. Still at yellow caution, okay. Oh god, Jesus Christ. Yep. Just really pushed into this one corner here. I would have thought the mag Magnum would have really been able to do the job at this point, but it really doesn't. Okay, that's, that's it for the Magnum. I can't even pause the... I'm not even getting poisoned. I can't even pause while I'm in the middle of getting, like, attacked like that constantly. Oh my god, thank you. Okay. Holy crap. Oh no. Is she gonna fly out of here? This is my worst nightmare as a boss. Singing intensifies. The lock's released, baby! Give me the goddamn linear launcher, holy crap. What the hell? No. What? Oh no. Oh, hang on. Okay, hold on. Let's do that. Alright, pick up the thing. Take the linear launcher, yep. Infinite, infinite? I have to shoot it in the air? Oh, it goes into first person. Right. Oh my... Oh my god. What is... What is this fight? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's make do. Oh my... Okay, it's gonna be... You got... What? I only have one healing item left. I have to be careful. Come on, please. What is this? Come on. Come on. Oh. Alright, what's my health at? Please. Oh! A one shot, one kill. Oh my, thank god. If I had to shoot that multiple times. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The arrogant queen. Oh my god. Claire! No! What? Wesker found time to get his glasses back. And now he's gone. He just disappeared. Oh my god, I wish we could run this fast in the game. I wish we could do that in the game. I wish we could r sprint into zombies and knock them down. Well done, Chris. It turns out that Alexia's work wasn't much of anything. So now, the only thing left is revenge. Let her go, Wesker! You don't want her. Fine. Claire! Today's a good day. I came for Alexia, but killing you is even better. Is it? Sorry to disappoint you. But Alexia is gone. That's no longer a concern to me. I have Steve to work with. What? <laughs> Steve. In his body, there's still a little T Alexia virus. Steve should be a good specimen. Maybe he'll come back alive just as I did. And maybe uh. see your sister again. You freak! Don't you touch it! Wesker used the sub oh. submarine. But my men have already taken it. You get out of here, Claire. But what about? As a surviving member of Stars, I have to finish this. Remember your promise. I'll end this once and for all. Say hello to my comrades who you've killed. I 
don't know where you get your confidence, Chris. Am I doing a final boss fight with Wesker as well? I don't have anything left, dude. <laughs> Take pipe! Yes. Self-destruct system has been activated. All okay. evacuate immediately. The self-destruct system has been activated. All personnel evacuate immediately. How sad is it that like um I literally went the whole game without using the flame rounds? <laughs> I really wanted to use the flame rounds. <laughs> and I was saving them, and then I gave them to Claire to use. And then I was stuck. She got stuck with them, so I didn't even get to use them on the final boss, which they would have been super handy. I was saving them for an insect-related thing. <clears throat> I'm literally getting wrecked by them. I'm not human anymore. But just look at the power <clears throat> I gain. Magnificent, don't you think? Okay. <laughs> Steel beam attack. So no final boss against Wesker. We just crush him with some with some pipes. Not pipes, you know. Girders. Like steel girders. Of course that didn't do anything. This is Wesker we're talking about. <clears throat> what is that smile? <laughs> Blowing up! Go away! Stop laughing! <laughs> For God's sake! Chris, where are you? Rest in peace to all those goddamn bugs! Take off. Chris, promise me. Please promise that you won't leave me alone again. I'm sorry, Claire, but it's not over yet. There's still something we've got to do. You mean... Yeah! It's payback time. We've got to destroy Umbrella. Now, let's finish this once and for all! Wahoo, baby. That's it. 
<laughs> oh my god. What a what a finale. What a finale. Um yeah, ultimately like I really liked the the game. Like the the story uh, stuff was good. The the dialogues Resident Evil dialogue, so to be to be expected. Some of it is fine and some of it is terrible. It, I think my major frustrations just come out of the um, come out of the, the weird gameplay and like design choices that they made. They were like, oh yeah, final boss fight. What if we just fucked them up completely and then make the final boss a goddamn one-shot rocket launcher kill, but he just flying across everywhere and vomiting at you. Like I honestly thought I had accepted my fate. I was like, I'm gonna die and have to do this again. I thought I was dead. <laughs> Luckily. It's, it's over, so that's Code Veronica done, uh, which is which is great. So ultimately, um, I, had a, I had a really nice time. I have positive feelings about this game. Just a few few negative pieces. Nothing's perfect, and I mean the game is an older an older Resident Evil game for sure. So there's going to be things about it that, uh, that stand out. So I'm, I'm very excited that now we're actually going to be moving out of the classic Resident Evil series, and we'll be going to over the shoulder, third person, Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is going to be incredible. So that's what's that's what's next. We get to see what's happening with, with the story after that. So where we're leaving off is Wesker still lives with his stupid evil laugh where he's going to meet us next time. Uh, and then Chris and Claire get to leave together, which is which is great. Um, so I'm glad that I'm glad that you know we had. Claire lives and they survive and they get to fly off and nobody blows up. But apparently Steve uh, and Wesker have some unfinished business. He called it the uh, he called it the T Alexia virus in that scene instead of the T Veronica virus. I uh, yes. I mean I don't know what else I can say. Enjoyed the game, had a good time, fun to play at times. Most of the time it was great didn't even get to use the incendiary rounds which is a shame like but the, the game really just gives you so much i was actually genuinely shocked at how many uh how much ammo and herbs we were given like right at the end like i guess there is like a lot of situations where i could have like completely messed up and lost a lot of items um so it really does like try and make up for the fact that it just surprises you with surprise you're playing a different character and i hope you didn't have all of the uh items that you wanted on the other character <laughs> but there you go um yeah i i enjoyed it this was this was a great time so i'm just gonna let the let the credits play see if there's anything at the end of them and then and then we'll do our closing statements um <laughs> this is the this is the ending screen <laughs> where Chris and Claire get to walk around normal day-to-day -day life? Where are they? <laughs> um, where are they? <laughs> where are they chilling? Around all these people. Congratulations, ranking E. That's right, I'm fucking bad at this game. 16 hours 30 saves 21 retries e ranking for excellent guys awesome my personal best let's upload it to the leaderboards because why not right um e for excellent battle game i've unlocked battle game there we go awesome no post credit scene just a really weird screenshot of them living a normal life apparently. So there you go, that was Code Veronica X, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Gave you a very, very large, explosive finale where so much happened. <laughs> Big back and forth. Had a great time for literally like 95% of it. That final boss battle though, a masterpiece of game design. But that we we survived. We we did it. One shot kill with the with the linear launcher. So done and dusted we can put it to bed and we can look forward 
to my next upcoming Resident Evil game, Resident Evil 4. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you how you felt about this one. If you if you enjoyed it, let's have a talk about it. Um, do you consider sticking around for Resident Evil 4? Because I'm very, very excited to, to finally get into that era of the Resident Evil game. So we'll be playing 4, 5, 6. Um, I'm going to eventually be also replaying 7 because I have played 7 um, on Madhouse difficulty. And then we can look forward to Resident Evil 8, which we should be getting some more information for that really, really soon. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.